families right now sitting in San Diego who escaped Syria and Obama's kicking them out of the country. He will not give them asylum. He's giving asylum only to Muslim Syrians. It's a, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare scenario. He's invisible today as this goes on. A year ago, the invisible president, the thin man, was forced to say something about the growing strength of ISIS and the outrage of the ISIS beheadings. So in September of 2014, the thin man said he was going to degrade and destroy the, the JV squad, ISIS in Iraq and Syria. And uh, the invisible president's four-step plan included ISIS strikes in Iraq and Syria, support to forces fighting ISIS on the ground in Iraq and Syria, training and arming moderates to Syrian rebels. That's a joke. Expanded counterterrorism efforts to weaken ISIS, cut off its resources. Support for humanitarian assistance to civilians displaced by ISIS. Well, a year later, the strategy is where? In ruins. Russia is now bombing ISIS targets in Syria. Of course, many of us know that right now they're not ISIS targets. They are rebels backed by the U.S. CIA, according to John McCain, which we've suspected for a long time now. Also on Wednesday, the Russian government slapped Obama in the face and told the U.S. to stay out of Syrian airspace and get your airplanes out of there. Obama is so embarrassed and humiliated by the fact that the world now knows what he is that he has not been seen since. Iran increased its presence in Iraq. Moscow has strengthened its relationship with the Iraqi government. A new ISIS pact between Russia, Iraq, Iran, and Syria that will include intelligence sharing. Obama is nowhere to be seen. Obama's Iraq-Syria strategy is just what it is. Created by drug addicts behind the scenes, girls who are on meds of some kind, who, who could come up with this but psychotic college girls who dash it off in a bar somewhere while swilling booze because nothing worked. What about these airstrikes that Obama has been conducting in Syria? They did nothing. ISIS now controls a land area larger than Great Britain. So the girls' strategy, the college girls who wrote it on a napkin in Georgetown while getting drunk after work at the White House with lipstick probably on a napkin somewhere, Let's see, yeah, we don't want any civilian uh, collateral. Uh, let's do pinprick uh, bombings. We'll keep the morons thinking we're doing something. Get out the lipstick over there, something over there where they're not near a lot of people. Well, the pin, pinprick airstrikes in Syria under the great man's leadership did not stop ISIS at all. In Iraq, ISIS took the city of Ramadi last May. Even though they were outnumbered 10 to 1 by the Iraqi army, they swept over them. Four months later, well, what's going to happen next? How about Mosul? Took it. That's after so many men died to take it. It's the old Sunni triangle, by the way. If you remember going back to the Iraq war, we talked a lot about the Sunni triangle. Some in the media said, uh, cordon it off, barb wire it, leave a few exit holes, drop leaflets telling everyone to get out of the Sunni triangle, give them 72 hours to leave and then carpet bomb it. Destroy it so no one could ever go back. Yeah, people said that in the media. Would you believe that? I remember those days. I wasn't born yesterday. I've been on the radio for 21 years. People said that the Sunni triangle needs to be eliminated from the earth. Can you imagine that? Now, how about when Obama trained and equipped moderate Syrian rebels? The program spent $42 million to train 54 recruits. The, the, the recruits were, were quickly killed by the al-Nusra Front, which is the al-Qaeda franchise in Syria. They surrendered U.S. trucks, U.S. ammunition to this terrorist group. And these rebels that we trained returned to Turkey. And only four or five are still fighting in Syria. $42 million? And Obama's four or five rebels were supposed to train 5,400. And what else happened? One of the great humanitarian disasters of our time. Refugees flooding into Europe because of this moron's idiotic lipstick strategy 7,000 foreign fanatics have joined ISIS in Syria and Iraq over the last year and we know of 7,000 7,000 and so what has Obama done he's made up a story that ISIS has not made any gains made it up made up a whole story completely invented it it was so bad that 50 DOD intelligence analysts recently filed complaints with the Pentagon that their work was doctored to support the liar the liars claim that its anti-ISIS strategy is succeeding. That's how bad this has gotten. The failure of the invisible president's 
policy is now so obvious that his advisors are now turning on him. I'll go on if you want me to. His policy is not only incoherent and dangerous, it may be that he's doing it on purpose and he's working for the other team. I'm sorry I've watched too much television. I apologize, I'm a fan of the old show Homeland. I won't watch the new one because the enemies are no longer the real enemies of civilization. Apparently it was too much for HBO, so they shifted it. If I don't even know who puts it on. Is it HBO or, 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 or No Time? I don't know who puts it on. So this is what's going on. Why do I call it government zero? Well, let's start with president zero. We have president zero running government zero. There's no borders, no language, no culture. Is that the whole story? No, that's only the title. The rest, my friends, the rest, my friends, can be seen right in front of your eyes. We're going to cover this for another 10 minutes. In the next hour, I'll move on to other topics. You've got a few minutes to call 855 407 282 you can peruse michaelsavage.com, sign up for a free newsletter. You can check out my new book, Government Zero. You can even click on Amazon to learn more about, you ready for this? Zero military. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O-I-N. We go from bad to worse, back to bad again. We have an update for you on this horrible shooting in Oregon. An eyewitness, an 18-year-old girl, said that the shooter, who they still will not identify after shooting her teacher in the head, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The Oregon school shooter asked people to stand up and state their religion and then started firing away. We don't know who the shooter was. Lead you to believe it may have had some religious uh, orientation here. But we can't jump to conclusions. We shouldn't jump to conclusions and say, wait a minute. The Oregon shooter who shot 10 or more people asked the students to stand up and state their religion and started killing them? And we don't know who the shooter was? Male, race, religion? Oh, no. No, no, no. That's not important. Just say a man. A man. A man did the shooting. Now, we'll know what he looked like if he has blonde hair and blue eyes and was wearing a cross. That I can guarantee you. We'll guarantee you we'll see that uh, very shortly. But if he wasn't blonde hair and blue eyed and wearing a cross, I don't think we'll see it for a while. Instead, there'll be another distraction soon. Like a blimp over Seattle. Jerry on WABC, I only have 30 seconds. Fire away. You got the last word this hour. Go. Yeah, Michael, I've been listening to you for eight. Ah, uh, please. You, you, Lord. you know, when you get, I love you. I'm a, a God, can't you just make your point? No, they can't. You give them airtime, right? I love you. I hate you. I listen to you. I was in the toilet when I first heard you. Then I heard you in the kitchen. I didn't know it was real. I thought it was my grandfather came back. And Mike, I don't want to make it too long. I'm going to make it quick. And before you know it, the time is up. Oh, God, radio. I love you. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. I'm live, and what a day it is. Russia, Syria, Oregon, it doesn't stop. It gets worse by the minute, and they won't release the identity of the, mur the murderer in Oregon. We know this so far. We know that he's a man. We know that he shot a teacher in the head through a window at the college, and then he asked the students to state their religion, and he started to assassinate them. Now, if you hear that he asked their religion... And they won't release his name or his background or what he looks like. You know, you kind of rush to judgment. But we won't go there yet. We'll reserve judgment. 
Could have been a Christian asking it, couldn't it? I kind of doubt it, but it could have been. Let's pray to God that it's not what we fear it is. Because after all, it was a gun-free zone. Now, had one of the students, let's say a returning military person, had a pistol in his pocket, I guarantee you whoever this is would, would have been dead before he killed 19 people. That I can guarantee you, especially if he had been an off-duty officer in college with a gun, instead of the school moms telling him, gun-free zone, no peace shooters. It's a gun-free zone, but there he is, Eric Holder, calling for seizing guns already, tweeting out, tweeting out, seize guns. Russia airstrikes in Syria, 150,000 troops called up in Russia. Oh, you didn't read that one? Your invisible president is nowhere to be seen. Your virtual president has disappeared. Iran troops are ready to, to just rampage across Syria and kill, cut the throats and burn, kill them alive. Everyone in, the, in, the, in ISIS, kill them alive. Hurricane hitting the Bahamas. Crazy time, isn't it? Remember a few weeks ago when I said to you, Pope's visit, Yom Kippur, the Shemitah. Remember we talked about it? I said some strange things are happening in this world. Stranger things are going to happen yet. Wait till you see what happens right after the Pope's visit, then the blood moon. Bingo, here we are. The thin man comes out of a meeting shaken. Looks like he just got a beating in there with, with Putin. Oh, we look in, a sting, in, in the single frame shots of Obama, the thin man with Putin after that famous meeting two days ago. He was really still in charge, you know. He had him under control the way he has Boehner under control and the American people bamboozled. Did he? His eyes looked like that of a frightened child because I think uh, Putin read him the riot act and put him in his place. The next day, you know what happened? Bombed Russia. I mean, bo Russia bombed Syria, told American planes to get out of the way. America said, well, you can't, you, you, you can't say that. You're not allowed to tell us to, uh, we're, uh, today we wake up, John McCain is saying, give the Syrian rebels Stinger missiles, the latest generation of Stinger missiles, so they can shoot down Russian warplanes. Look, McCain has to be put into a, a bug house. This guy is crazy. This guy has to be put away. He's got to be put out to pasture. He wants to start World War Three. So we can talk about all these topics. I don't know, but I suspect that we may learn the identity of the Oregon shooter sometime this afternoon. Because I'm very curious now why they're covering it up. We know he asked the religion of the students and then killed them. I'd like to know more about it. I'd like to know more about it. What should I say? I hope that uh, he's just a deranged nut on medication put out by the American Psychiatric Association. Another one, another heroic shooting on, uh, on Prozac-related compounds. That would be the lesser of two evils than what I fear it is. I'm not going to say that. Not one word, by the way, about the Syria bombing cam campaign from a Republican Party. Zero. No, it doesn't exist. In, in a democracy, there'd be a speech today. The leader of the Republican Party would get up, have a news conference, try to calm American people, tell them what side we're on, why it's going to be OK. Zero. He's, he's as, as the stew bums asleep in the, in the cloakroom. They slipped him a, 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 a fifth. And he fell asleep under someone's overcoat there. He's gone. That's the Republican Party today. The candidates, well, where do they stand on the Russian airstrikes? You've heard where I stand. I didn't hide anything I felt. I studied it in great detail. I told you where I stand. I'm in favor of the Russians bombing them into the Stone Age. End of story. It's all. I'll say it again. I'm not mincing words. Do you support or oppose Russia's airstrikes today, yesterday? I support them. Yes, I know. He's not killing ISIS. I heard that. I know you learned it. Oh, he's not really killing ISIS. I heard that. Yeah. Real strategist there. Yeah. You read that. Yeah. I saw it on CNN. Heard it on the radio. It was just really, it's a, it's a roost by Russia. You don't know that, Mike? Yeah, I know that. I know that. But think like a step ahead, Schmendrick. If the Iranian troops are going to sweep in from the other side of Syria, do they want to be challenged on the, on the other side by uh, the Syrian rebels who we funded? meaning the CIA front army that we funded all this time? Do they want to be shot in the back? No, they want to have an open corridor all the way through Syria, right up to where the Russian ports are, are, are being held by Russian troops. And also weapons can come in, resupply can come in from both sides, both from Iran and from the other side, only if the, the free Syrian army, so-called, is first eliminated, which is what Putin's doing first. Haven't you studied any battles by watching history? Don't you see how it works? I don't understand people. They, they talk out of the two sides of their mouth. 